good Sunday morning, everybody. Oh, my voice went a little bit there. Let's start the day with a little bit of coffee. My throat's still sore. Start the day with a little bit of coffee, and I'm going to carry on watching the Ryder Cup. Now, I'm absolutely wiped out because I've had three or four nights in a row where I've stayed up late. And because I'm so rock and roll, I can't take it. But never mind, moving on. In a mess, apparently. Uh, just had a surprise visit from uh, Michelle's dad, father in law, quite pleasant. And we're now going to have bait and sarnies. Moving on. Okay, guys, good victory for Europe. Well played, America, in that last day. You did really well. Nearly came back. Now, my pendants for watching the uh, Ryder Cup all weekend is Michelle's got the remote, and guess what song? Strictly come dancing. So you're going to catch up, aren't you? And you strictly come dancing. And I'm going to go over there on the computer because I'm pretend I'm watching it. Hi guys, that's Sunday night coming to an end. Spent all weekend watching the Ryder Cup. And quite enjoyable, just thinking about nothing else other than watching the sport basically. I fully enjoyed it. Uh, what what's happening now, <coughs> excuse me, a bit cough then. What's happening now is Michelle's just gone up for a bath, a Sunday evening bath. Uh, I'm just waiting up to take the washing out of the washer. Well, about 10 minutes to wait and I'll put it in the dryer and then we've got dry clothes for tomorrow morning. So, with that, I think I'll call it on the vlog for this weekend, the Ryder Cup weekend. So, with that, it's a good night from me, and it's a good night from Michelle, upstairs soaking in the bath. See you all in the morning. The working week starts again. Joy. Good Monday morning, everybody. Terrible night's sleep for both me and Michelle. I've spent all night dreaming about being at work, so I've already done an eight-hour shift. And Michelle woke up this morning convinced it was Friday. I don't know which is worse, me doing an eight-hour shift or Michelle thinking she got a day, it was Friday and uh, she had a day off. I think Michelle's is worse, she's realised that she's, basically, it's Monday. So, how bad is that? Morning. Morning. You realise it's Monday now? Yeah. Moving on. Okay, guys, not only do I dream that I've spent eight hours at work and Michelle dreams... Oh, oh sorry, Michelle wakes up thinking it's Friday and she has a day off. When we actually do go to work, we get stuck behind a uh, train. Moving at, at 30 miles an hour. By 30 miles an hour in a lot of places it's fast, but on a 60 mile an hour road, it's not fast, is it? But, you know, this is, this is the crosses we have to bear. I'm much more disappointed about dreaming I've already been to work. I hope I can remember how I did what I did, then I can repeat my performance much better than having a day off I must admit anyway or much better than thinking you have a day off anyway with that moving on hi right, guys that's the working day over with we're on our way home and I really shouldn't have whinged about being behind that crane this morning because I'm behind it on the way back now so yeah how bad is that for us? Yeah, but we're on our way home and it's 
it's going to take a while because this crane's going at 30 mile an hour again, but well, never mind. Working days over with, worst one over with. Moving on. Okay, guys, we were going to watch Discovery of Witches, but unless you want to put it on there. It is on now. Oh, Discovery of Witches, we're going to watch that now, part three. Just been watching uh, DIY SOS at uh, Great Almond Street, yeah, haven't you? Upsetting. Heartbreaking, absolutely heartbreaking. Just. You think you've got problems, and then you see all these children dealing with stuff that you can't even imagine, and you just think. Yeah, what they did, they built a, a garden on top of the roof for them so that the parents and the kids were in intensive care or having operations they could go out and sit there and basically get a bit of greenery or whatever rather than just wandering around the hospital aimlessly. And also they could take the kids out while they were recovering. Because most of the children there in that ward, they're just in, they'll be in there for years, some of them, yeah. Some of them have never been home. Some of them never will as well. Okay, so we're now going to watch last Friday night's uh, A Discovery of Witches, which we didn't watch because I was watching uh, the Ryder Cup. So let's get on it. Okay, guys, that's it. We've watched A Discovery of Witches and then mocked the week straight after it. So we went from Witch Wind to Comedy. Okay, review of A Discovery of Witches. I don't know why you keep asking me week after week. I don't have an opinion on it. I'm biased, remember? So, you have so to what's your biased opinion. opinion? You have to give an opinion. It better start a rein up and starting. Get some action in it. All I've seen so far is a bit of wind and kissing. Does it carry on like that all the way through? Does doesn't it? Is it a girly book? It is, isn't it? Girly book. We better get something to... It's not one got a wand out and gone, what is it? When God in... When God in Not one... Not one spell. They found a book and it got windy. <laughs> yeah? Does it get better? Still a good programme. I'm getting a bit... It needs to start, that's why I'm getting to the point now. It's three stories in. Sorry, three programmes in. So, what's that? An hour and a half, hour and three quarters, and nothing's happening, really, so... Yeah, anyway, so... I do yawn. I do, excuse me. Uh, I got confused then. What was going through my head was, I do apologise and excuse me. And I got mixed up. Anyway, with that, I think I better end the vlog now before I make another mistake. So with that, it's good night from me. And it's a good night from him. It's girly big, isn't it? Tis in it. See you in the morning. <laughs>